Hey guys, I wanted to welcome you all to a new week of Rockin' H Woodshop. And since it is a new week, it is a new project. I'm going to show you how to build this cornhole game with a Monsters, Inc. theme today. That's coming up. First, we're going to take this entire sheet of three-quarter inch Baltic birch plywood and cut it in half. 48 inches because generally 48 inches is the standard length for a corn toss board game. Now I'm just going to take some spare pine that I have here just to make the banding that will go around the entire board. We're still making uh, rip cuts and cross cuts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut the skirting to three and a quarter inches wide which will give an overall thickness of the board of four inches. Now we're just going to take the cross cut sled and cut the length of this skirting and we're going to start with the long sections first and make them 45 and a half inches. Now we're just going to cut the top and uh, bottom sections of the skirt at 20 and a half inches which will give the overall dimension of the skirt 22 inches wide by 45 and a half inches long. Butt joint the pieces of the skirt together, but in order to reinforce that, we're going to bring out our pocket hole screw jig and uh, take care of that. We're going to take these coarse threaded screws that are, I believe, an inch and a quarter inch, inches long, uh, to screw those together. Okay, now that the aprons are done, it's time to get busy on the uh, board itself and attach that uh, edge banding. Banding is going to be mitered around the top itself and we're going to use our sled here to do those miters and then we're going to take them over to the sander and fine-tune the miter as well as sneak up on it to make it nice perfect fit. Attach the edge banding to the top we're going to use biscuit joints, number 20s to be exact. I got the panel up on my table saw cabinet and uh, going to glue the edge banding on now. And a little tip that if you're ever gluing something on edge like this and you need it to stand up by itself, get you a quick grip clamp and put it on the bottom edge over here on the corner and it has a wide enough surface area to keep it propped up for you so it doesn't fall. Alright, now while the tops are curing, we're going to work on the aprons again. Uh, there's something I want to put in these that is something you wouldn't expect. And what I'm going to do is put a partition here that's only about the width of, of a bean bag or, or corn bag. And it's going to have a sliding door that will go across it. First we're just going to take some scrap and uh, make a couple of pieces for the channels. We're just going to glue these flush with the top. Now with the guide rails installed, I can see how wide my partition needs to be. And it looks like it's going to be two and a half inches. Now we need to cut them to width. We're first going to square up the edge and then cut it to 20 and a half, just like the apron parts were. And these are also going to get pocket screwed to the apron. Now the bags themselves are going to be six inches square. So what I've done is taken a couple of scrap pieces and cut a six and a quarter inch spacer just to give it a little extra room just in case. And I'm putting them one here and one over here so I know exactly that this will be square whenever I go to cinch it down with pocket screws. Now, 
I have a door to keep all the bags in place. Now we're just going to make some pocket screws along the apron so we can attach it to the top. Now before we attach the apron to this top, we just need to make sure that all of the uh, edge banding is sanded smooth and uh, flush. I'm just going to take a uh, quarter inch round over bit and just go over all the underneath the sides of the top. Now we're just going to take a 45 degree chamfer bit and go over all the upside edges. Now we're just going to attach the apron to the top with just a little glue and pocket screws. Okay, now that we've got the top attached to the apron or the bottom assembly, now it's time to make the legs. And there's going to be one on each side that will be attached with a carriage bolt and uh, then there will be a stretcher in between the two just to make sure that they don't rack. Now when the legs are folded up inside this uh, apron assembly here, they have to be, if anything, flush with the surface or below. What I've done is I've pre-drilled a hole an inch and a half from the actual playing surface up an inch and a half up the apron. And you can't see it right there, but it's inside my pocket. And I've also taken it about uh, three inches from the back of the apron uh, as well. So that gave, gave me a center point to put my through hole for my carriage bolt. Now I've taken the leg, which is the same thickness as the apron itself, so it's nice and flush. And I've got a predetermined amount, which is about an inch and three eighths that I'm going to back set it from the apron. And then I took my drill and drilled through this hole into my leg right here. The carriage bolt lines up perfectly with that hole. And all we'll need to do now is just take uh, some of the corner out right there so it has room to pivot. But we're going to take a double washer, then the leg, and another set of double washers, and a nut. And that's about right, right there. We're going to take another nut on top of that. Uh, this turns with a little bit of resistance so it'll stay put no matter where I put it. Now the next order of business is making a stretcher that's going to go across between the two legs. And we're going to pocket screw those in place. Now it's time to cut the actual hole for the corn bags to go through. <coughs> and regulations say that from the top should be 9 inches down and 12 inches from the side. And I've made a cross right, right where I need to drill. And it needs to be a 6 inch diameter hole. Now I know 6 inches is pretty big and most people would want to just try and cut it with a jigsaw. Um, but if you're not very steady with it, it might not look that great. So. If you have the money, you can spring $40 for a 6 inch hole cutter saw. I'm only going to go deep enough to where the center drill bit actually goes through the other side because if I just keep going, it's going to really splinter out the bottom side. Uh, that thin veneer is very fragile, so we're just going to flip it over and continue the cut through the back and then whenever it's done, it'll be a nice clean hole that I can round over with the router. paint job is very simplistic. It is a Monsters Inc. theme. So there's Mikey and Sully. We're going to paint one a bright green for Mikey and then another one a coral blue with pink polka dots for Sully. We're going to sand in between coats to give a smooth finish and then just coat them with a few coats of spray lacquer. That pretty much wraps up how to make a cornhole game. My wife finished the bags with a little help and uh, we're, we're ready to play. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
Please comment, rate, and subscribe down below. You can check out all my social media, such as Facebook and Twitter, and follow me on that. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Please subscribe, and let me know if you like this video by clicking that thumbs up button. Guys, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Please be safe in your shops, and I will see you next week.